that, that was uh, old man uh, J.D. they called him, James. He was my oldest brother. James. Uh, what? James Davey. James Davey. Yeah, that James. was his name. Where did, now, where does he live? Is he dead now? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then uh, what was your other brothers? Uh, name your brothers that all became ministers. Uh, E.Z. Zeke. They call him Zeke. Zeke. Mm-hmm. Zeke for Zeke. short. Mm-hmm. Zeke of Zeke. Yeah. And Calvin, C.W. Sexton. He was a... Uh, he's he, dead too, isn't he? Yeah, he passed away. But he started in his 20s. Mm-hmm. And E.Z. started in his 30s. Mm-hmm. And I started as a... In the forties, one. I've joined it for ten, twelve years. <laughs> you you uh, came along later. Yeah, you? that's right. And uh, my youngest brother, he started before I did. Mm-hmm. He started back in. Uh, what was his name? Edward. Edward. A D. Edward. We call him Ed for short. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, are they all settled in this area? Or did they move away? The, uh, my youngest brother lives in. Uh, uh, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Uh, they live in about ten or twelve miles of Lancaster. Mm-hmm. Denver, so, Denver, Denver, Lancaster, Denver, Pennsylvania. Denver, Pennsylvania. Uh, I was just saying, you know, five preachers in one family. That's, that's, that's that right. uh, could have an impact in a community, couldn't it? Oh, it, it should. Uh, it should do it. Now, could you? Uh, Maybe tell me a little bit now. Let's go back even before you were a minister. You say you were raised in a church. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, always. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about some of the revivals they'd have. I know they had quite a big oh, it, yeah. when revival time came. It was a big thing. Oh, wasn't it was. It certainly did. They always went out for the revival. Sometimes it'd go on for four weeks. Did they have one revival a year? Uh, at a church or generally one one uh, revival a year sometimes it would be the second time but I've known my daddy to take the horses or the steers oxen and take a tree lap when the snow was up to your knees and break the roads Is for it? the people to travel walk you see there was no cars right. and people come in oh the house was full on say people would be from the door to the stand uh, on their knees is that right? That's right. Now you, they, they, we don't we don't fill the churches like that now, do we? Uh, and you say, and did they, did they have revivals usually in the fall after the work time? That's or right. The, That's right. It was uh, it, sometimes the snow would be more above your knees, and it, you see they didn't stay back for the cold. They didn't mind the cold, and lived the uh, ninety percent of the people then lived in old log houses. It was a church a log house? The church was log, log building. Log buildings, most of them was. There was a few uh, that was built by the lumber. Did the, the old people go to? Indeed they did. The old mothers, uh, 75, 80 years old, be praising the Lord all over the house. Is that That's right? That's why I've seen them. I'd give $1,000 to see it again. <laughs> if I had if I had You mean a shouting revival? Yeah, like, the, like I've seen. You don't see that anymore, do you? No more. No more. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, would would it be acceptable now? Would the people that's the trouble you see? Would the people leave, or would the? Uh, no, I wouldn't know that. Would the, I, 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 I mean, I'm just curious. I wouldn't I know, know either mean, because I've would. heard my mother talk about things like that, and I just wondered. Well, if, uh, she told you the truth. It would be acceptable. Now, uh, I, I wonder that a lot. I'm afraid that it would not be with a lot. Because mm-hmm. sometimes, if someone but uh, the Lord would love it. <laughs> well, and I don't think it'd have any problem there, no. but. Uh, I just wondered, uh, now, uh, you say the church house would be full. How many preachers would they have? Would it be several? Or several. Sometimes there'd be six or eight preachers. And then would it last a pretty long time? Well, right? sometimes when they'd have a good, uh, real good service at night, they'd go on till 10 o'clock. Sometimes like seven to 10. Yes, yeah, sometimes. The whole denomination. The whole denomination. The denomination wasn't mentioned. It just uh, worked together. Work together. Mm-hmm. Now that's right. What was the name of some of the churches well, that you recall? It was Baptist churches, and well, uh, I guess the Methodists were in here before the Presbyterians. Is that uh, right? That's right. Uh-huh. One of the greatest revivals I ever went was to a Methodist church. 
Is that right? That's Where right. was that? That was over here. You know where it's at? You face it over there. Just uh, well, a lot of days over Bethel. Bethel, yeah. Well, now where that Bethel church sits, it was an old building. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. An old building when I was a boy. I went to school with Curtis Gamble down in the next holler, both of mm -hmm. And he'd turn us loose at, at 10 o'clock or quarter, enough to get up there for the 11 o'clock service. They had meeting every day then. Every day and every night? Every day and night. And he'd uh, dismiss us in the school and march us <laughs> up to this church. Oh, really? Now, now we can't pray, even pray in school now, can they? And that's right. They've taken that out. And he'd take the class up to preach? Uh, take it uh, at school. The whole school? The whole school. Everybody. The house is full, too. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, the schoolhouse was. And, every day, and he teaches them all, you see. He used to be a teacher. And he took out the little ones and the big ones. The little ones and all. The little ones who went in front and the largest now, Who was the preacher there? You said that was one of the best uh, revivals. Uh, preacher Green. I don't know where he is from. Now, he didn't live in this in this Ash County, but he was uh, one of the biggest, best preachers I ever heard. Now, what year, about what year was that? That was uh, before I ever made a change. That would have been back in, uh, I'd say it would have been 1912. But now, was this a log church? So the log church at that time. And they had a, a did they have, a, what kind of a fire did they have? Well, they had a, a stove, a long stove, and, but the, uh, at that revival, there wasn't too much cold. It, we had it a little before the cold set mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. Preacher Green did. Mm -hmm. And there were several other preachers come and was with him, but he done the preaching. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the unsaved people was from the door to the stand. I've known him to choose six or seven different men up and down the alley, up and down the walkway to the stand and call on to pray at one time. Right? At the same time. Had, you would they have different... It would be between, them, between uh -huh. the unsaved there. Mm -hmm. And he'd call on a certain fellow here, he'd go up about ten foot, he'd call on another man and then another. And the some, some lady, some lady mm -hmm. said then. And before that, the uh, trial was over, you'd think the house was going to fall. Is that right? It is something to think about. Sometimes there'd be 25 professing and, and, and make a change in, in 20 in minutes. One, in one revival. In one night. Is that right? Sometimes, I, I think there's over 100, uh, 100 professions in the revival. Cool. It went on 10 days or 100 people weeks. get out. Mm, well, that, well, well, the house that, was full. Uh, they, they went then. Uh, and it wasn't just the members, was it? No, no. Uh, well, did they have good singing? A good some group? of the best. Uh, I've heard they had the best. Uh, some of the best singing you ever listened to. Did they have? Did they have music in the church in those days? No, or, uh, no uh, I don't or remember. Piano or I don't remember that back when I was young. That way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I just don't have, what well, they have a tuning fork and take off with. There, the there's a lot of times leader. Uh, leader would. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a lot of did, they, uh, did many women, you know, we're, we're talking about women being liberated and yeah. all that sort of thing. Now, did they take part in church activities? Oh, well, indeed they did. Well, they were sort of liberated then before, weren't they? Indeed, they'd get up and when they call, ask them to tell the experience, they call it the experience and now it's testify. Mm -hmm. Ask you now in the church, I don't know whether to do in your church or not. Well, I, I know what you're talking and, about. Yeah. Yeah, but sure. back then they'd ask them if they would like to tell their experience. Uh -huh. And them old women all over that whole house, uh, from well, they wouldn't be so old. Some of them be your age. Mm -hmm. And they'd, boy, I'm telling you, before they'd get through, you talk about shouting and praising <laughs> the Lord. It would be the awfulest time you ever seen. That's right. Indeed, it would. I'd, well, I'd drive 100 miles now <laughs> to get to sit, be in. <laughs> well, you might have to drive. I'd go to... Back in the 1800s, wasn't Oh, yeah, he was. He was gray-headed then. His hair was white as, uh, as money is. Mm -hmm. That's what I've got. Mm -hmm. His hair was white. But he was pretty... Uh, 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 and he was pretty mm -hmm. able. He's, mm -hmm. He was ready. Now, after you had the revivals, and uh, I mean, we're respectfully talking about the, these things uh, because they're uh, so interesting mm, to right. us to know about. Uh, then you had the baptizing. Baptizing, that's right. Did it bother anyone to have them in the wintertime? So, uh, sometimes I have, I have seen them uh, cut the ice out. Is that right? That's right. I've seen them cut the ice out to baptize. Not that revival. They waited till another time, and the pre preacher Green 
baptized all that wanted to be baptized out in the river, out there in the Horse Creek, mm-hmm. come to Horse Creek. And uh, what wanted to be some would choose sprinkling. Some mm-hmm. were, were Methodist. Some would choose that. And Did they all go together? Did they all have their baptized yeah, right together? Yeah, that's right. And when they sprinkled them, they said the ceremony just so they would be baptized. And nobody criticized the sprinkling Nobody process. criticized it. Nobody did. What have we ever got so split on that stuff? I can't understand that. But, of course, now I don't, I don't believe in sprinkling. I'll just tell you mm-hmm. that. Well, that's, 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 that's... I don't believe in it. I'm a Baptist, you know, uh-huh. when they don't... They baptize. They yeah. immerse. Yeah. But uh, at least you didn't fall out about it. No, I, be, I wouldn't now. Uh-huh. No, indeed. I wouldn't with anyone now. I'd preach with somebody... If they, that's their business. Mm-hmm. If they believe that's all right, that's all right with me. That's them and the good Lord. But uh, for why are we separated there? And, and I don't understand that part. And uh, you didn't see much of, uh, uh, you know, that sort of thing. But I do believe that, I, I, in fact, I noticed in the paper, to, uh, our local paper, that there was a picture of a baptizing mm-hmm. in the river, yeah. you know. And, uh, of course, and it was, I guess, it wasn't a Baptist denomination, I don't believe, that baptized. I'm not sure. But I know the Methodists have been going to Elk Shoals and baptize, immersing some yes, now. Yes, they do. And, uh, and they used to uh, more than they do now. Mm-hmm. But still, that wasn't enough to fall out about, was it, really? Well, indeed, it wasn't. I seen my brother Cal baptized 16 at one time, and he was a Methodist preacher. He started in the Methodist uh-huh, preacher. Uh-huh. And he baptized 16 in the river. Uh, up at Preston. Well, then, now, this may oh. sound like a foolish question to you, but I'm just curious, and I don't mean to sound foolish. Did any of them ever take pneumonia or anything that you cut no, the I never heard tell of even get taken a cold. <laughs> Is that I baptized six last Sunday. In, 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 uh, in, uh, well, Wilson Creek. Wilson. Over, just above, uh, above the mouth of Wilson. And we, go, we had the finest place I, I baptized in in a long time. You could just walk into the water as deep as you wanted or as shallow as you wanted. Is that right? I had some large people and some, uh, some about large as you are, and some small. Uh-huh. And they were just fine. It was real place, wasn't it? She was with me. Uh-huh. Well, that's, uh, you know, I've, I've heard uh, different ones say that they so-and-so was baptized when it was, uh, the, the ice would freeze on Yeah, I've, uh, yeah. But uh, uh, what you say when you have to cut the ice to get in the bathroom. Well, I've seen that done. I never have, but I've seen it done. Uh-huh. But I, I wouldn't want to do that. I don't believe it. I don't believe that God requires that. He it only asks right. a reasonable service, and if it's in here in your heart, you can wait till July. Yeah, yeah you'd have no problems there. That's what I say. That's what I tell my candidates. Well, uh, if if they're real strong and want to get it over with, it'd be no problem. But yeah, that's that's a reasonable situation. I think so. No, I think that's the way it is. And as far as that goes, if you never, if you never were baptized, if something happened to you before, it, you would still be all right. Still be all right for you. See, it's like this: uh, baptism is not essential to salvation. For the thief on the cross wasn't baptized. Mm-hmm. See, mm-hmm. yeah. But now some people believe that uh-huh. Uh-huh. it is now the Church of Christ. They won't have nothing. Else. Exactly. That's right. Well, now, when the baptizings, uh, what kind of crowds did you have for that? Did they come for miles around the city? There's several last Sunday. Is that right? this baptizing. Yeah, there's several. Well, years ago, did you have a big crowd? Oh, there? more, ten yeah. times. Back then, it was something. It'd come maybe sometimes a hundred people or two. Is that right? See, yeah. Then they'd die, go right direct to the church and fill the church house up and wait till the preacher changed his clothes and the Preach candidate. Candy. Yeah. Good. Well, uh, uh, now, how about uh, uh, sometimes uh, boys and girls, of course, wasn't I mean, might not have been so interested in the church as somewhere to go. Did you have uh, problems with people uh, causing disturbance, you might say, a drinking? Some, or two. That's right. Oh. I've seen that happen. And I've seen some fighting mm-hmm. at the churches back then, mm-hmm. the big meetings. One time, uh, my brother was disturbed. Uh, I wasn't old enough to start preaching. I hadn't started then. I wasn't old enough. And he was disturbed, and that was up at Fairview. You may know mm-hmm. where that's at, mm-hmm. back here in the mountain. And they arrested three of them, the him and the citizens did, and took them to jail. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
So I guess you've had to have your... Oh, yeah. With that many people, really, you'd have had some... That's right. That yeah. That's right. That's right. No, nothing couldn't be handled. No, uh, no, no killing and nothing mm -hmm. like that. I've never seen nothing like that at church. Mm -hmm. Well, how many churches have you pastored? Well, I have pastored. I have to count and see. Did you have more than one? Did you have like so many? Yeah, I have two men. You have two yeah, men. That's as far as I go. I won't take but two. Uh huh. Two, two is as far as I go, but I pastored several different yeah. ones. And, now, they used to have just maybe monthly meetings. Yeah, they? monthly, once a month. But now we have it at half time, uh -huh. most uh -huh. of the time. And sometimes, some of the churches, full time. Uh -huh. Some preachers that give the full time. Now, I was at Chestnut Hill for five or six years. And then uh, I was at Sabbath home. And then uh, I've been at Big Raw Baptist Church for the last 20 years. When you were talking about uh, the early uh, church uh, shouting and uh, what, you know, your worship methods, I mean, uh, the way you worship, uh, you know, there's a, some, as they call it, charismatic renewal and, and that sort of thing. Uh, did they go into the healing aspect of the charismatic religion like they are now? No, uh, uh, no. They, now they believe, my churches, both of them, believes in divine healing, but they're not fanatic. And, uh, do they, do they uh, go into the laying on of the hands no. or any of that? It's, uh, Just sometime, praying for the... Yeah, sometimes if it's, uh, they'll do like the Bible says do, if there are any, you know, the Bible says if there are any sick among me, let them call in the elders and, and the deacons and lay their hands on mm -hmm. and pray, and they shall, they shall be healed. Mm -hmm. Some. We don't we don't do that very too often. We just have a special prayer mm -hmm. for the, our sick people, don't we? Mm -hmm. she don't. Well, I didn't know. You know, there's a, there seems to be a renewal of. Uh, they are. The, I guess they mm -hmm. call it spirit filled. Uh, I, I had different people mm -hmm. have different words for That's things, right. but mm -hmm. um, I just wondered if uh, if uh, the, if back when they had the big meetings. If the main thrust was to get the souls saved, that's, it. Was that, it? that's the main thrust uh -huh. to get the soul saved. Uh -huh, that was it. Uh -huh. They didn't go into uh, uh, what they call sanctification, uh -huh. <laughs> and they, they didn't, didn't go them. into the social aspects no. of uh, all that's that. That's right. Thing. It was mainly getting them in, into the church to get their soul saved. And that uh, now. As you said, walking and horseback was the yeah, mode. That was the way it would be. Sometimes, if the weather wasn't too cold, they'd take wagons, mm -hmm. buggies, a lot of buggies. I've seen that down at this old Baptist church here. I've seen hundreds of horses hitched all around there. You had for that little church? For that little church, they have a foot washing meeting in the summertime. Uh -huh. And back before me and I was married, I've seen hundreds of them. Could they all, what they do? They couldn't all get in a church, could they? No, 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 no. There'd be two or three houses full. But would they still be uh, having a worship? Yeah, program? they'd be studying that at right. 10 o'clock and be a worship in there at 2 or 3 in the evening. Oh, yeah. the, as one group would get to worship, yeah. would they leave? Yeah, they, no, they'd be stepped back at another and they'd go in and be. Uh, oh. That's the way they, there used to be plenty of them. Now it's gone down. Mm -hmm. that much. They just Do they hundred. still wash feet in your church? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to wash down here Sunday, and we are too in my church, and mm -hmm. I've got the special singing. Mm -hmm. you know. Well, you know, that's the, uh, you hear more of that now, too. Uh, yeah. uh, the Catholic and the uh, Episcopal Church have, uh, that, uh, I, I mean, I'm using the term foot washing. I yeah. don't know if that's, that's old people it. used to refer to it. That yeah, that's right. probably a, a name different. I don't know. No, you're right. That's but what I they think uh, they have a special foot yeah. washing at those churches now. And some of the churches are going back to that. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, th I think it should be done for Jesus said that, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, he, he said, if I washed it up, do you have no part with me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the, now, you, I, don't, I don't know if we brought, I said on the tape, what's your denomination of the, what? The Baptist, missionary Baptist. It's missionary, <coughs> missionary Baptist. Baptist. Were you always missionary? Was your father missionary? That's right. Mm -hmm. Always. Well, aren't you dedicated preachers and, and oh, that's people a, who... That's the truth. They was. And my oldest brother preached 65 years. 65. 
Is have you kept any kind of records of uh, baptisms or how many people that you have taken into the church other than well I guess you had your church records did you? yeah we have that on the church book I could wondered how many people you had uh, uh, but that's uh, that's with your minutes of association I guess well, yeah it, 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 it's probably in the minute you and no I've never kept no personal record but it's on the church ledger mm -hmm. it, it is a record kept but the clerk does that uh, it's on the on, on the church ledger and we could, I could, if you need it, we can get it for you. Well, I mean, it, it it'd just all. be interesting. Uh, it, it'd be uh, what I was thinking, and, and of course you couldn't do this now. But if you five preachers in the same family had kept records of how many minutes, how many people you had uh, taken in to the church mm -hmm. or baptized, yeah. that'd be something to um, see. Oh, that's right. If your brother was a preacher for sixty-five, 65 years. years, and then all of you put I together, I heard him say, I heard him say that he had baptized sixteen hundred people. Sixteen. Sixteen hundred people. I heard him say that before he died. Uh -huh. he you baptized know, that man. Uh, so I, I, I think it's a little. Uh, different in that five boys, all of them were ministers. That's, that's uh -huh. right. So you've seen a lot of changes in as in the whole lifestyle of this. Indeed, family. I have. To. It's indeed. Do you remember you know. seeing your first car? Indeed, I do. <laughs> what you And I've seen the first in, in ever coming Nash County. You did. I've seen the first it? car, Harris Tucker. Harris Tucker. Harris Tucker, you remember? Yeah, that. I know who you're talking about, old man. He drove the first car in Nash County. He's ever come in Nash County. What did you think of it? We didn't know what we got, but they wanted to see it. <laughs> was it a pretty noisy thing? Well, it's a, a Model T Ford. Yeah, well, it was a noisy yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> but it had run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it had run. Uh, so, of all the changes you've seen, you know, of course, uh, it's hard to decide. Well, you've you've come from. Uh, Walking and riding the oxen yeah, and, and right. the horses up to we put a man on the moon in space, that's right. and that's a that's a it's a long way. That's a long way. Yes, yes. Now I know that they say in Chicago and places like that, people weren't riding oxen in Chicago, but we're talking about the lifestyles in our mountain region. In the mountain region, that's right. It it was uh, it was slow to change. It was slow to change. That's right. And I wish it never had. <laughs> we should never have. Uh, now, now I've got a friend, uh, he's an Italian, he come from Italy, and he said that he left Italy when he was 18 years old, come to this country, and he was been he'd been here two or three times, and we lived by him in Pennsylvania, and he said, we he talked about how we, how, like we're talking mm -hmm. about how we was raised and how we mm -hmm. was he said they'd done the same thing, he said he'd carried a many a ton of corn on his shoulder to the mill. Is that right? That's what he said. Well, how far did you have to carry that? Yeah, you know, when you we talking about your boy. flour that you raised and and that sort of thing, but now you had to shock your corn and then shuck yeah, it. Yeah, shuck it and put it in the crib. Put, put it in the crib. crib and then and shell it. And did you have a corn shell or shell it by hand? Well, we we shelled the most eyes by hand, and mm -hmm. we had a corn sheller. We had to shell it, but we used it for other things. Mm -hmm. For bread, you wanted to, didn't get the, the you we could take it out, you know, the bag. Clean this uh -huh. Yeah. Well, uh, now, then you had to take it to the, and have it ground. Have it ground. Now, you just had what you'd want for me, what, a week or two ground yeah, at we, a time? we, generally. And then no weevils or anything no, got in. No, uh -huh. Back then, there wasn't, a, there wasn't such a thing as a bean bug. Isn't that right? And I was coming up, law, we never thought of such a thing. You didn't have to spray. No, did no. <laughs> Not a thing. You just put it out and it growed. You'd hold it. Mm -hmm. You'd have no fertilizer. No soda. Did you dry a lot in your uh, garden and that sort of thing? Uh, you, you know, your beans? And mother, did, mother did. She does. She does. Yes, uh, a did, lot. Now, did they have cans when you were a little boy? Do you recall? If Not they had many, them? did they? Not many. Well, mother had to dry fruit. I had to dry peaches. Rather and put them away and she would crowd a 60 gallon bar full of crap and a 60 gallon bar full of pickled beans that last all winter mm -hmm. that way and uh, but on the on the last years now she had she'd got some cans mm -hmm. that with, with finding cans around did she ever drive how did well uh, did she drive berries 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, she dried berries. Even blackberries? Yeah, and peaches. Was the blackberries, were they fairly good? Yeah, they was all right. They did they, really fool you. They did really come back to theirself when you took them. Oh. Yes, they would. Well, one could survive then, couldn't they? Oh, they did. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they certainly did. And you know then nobody never went hungry back then. No, no. No, they never went hungry. Well, now, in the winter time, uh, when the snows came, uh, did you stay out of school or did you go wrong to school? No, we went to school. They went and broke the, they'd break the road. Sometimes now they'd be out a while till the road was broke. But uh, a lot of times we didn't live too far from mm -hmm. the schoolhouse. A lot of times. I wonder what, uh, uh, did everybody have to get their lessons? Did everybody have to learn to read? Indeed, you did. If you didn't, the, the teacher, you know, he, he got you in an ocean. The school teacher got, when he called for a class, why, you, you was in the class, and he'd call for that class when you went up and took your seat, the girls and the boys. And there's girls on one side, the boys on the other side. Sometimes there'd be 10 or 12 in the class. But now that wasn't the whole school, you see. Mm -hmm. See, there's different classes. Uh, second reader class, first reader class, third reader, and on up to the fourth reader. And then it went to the adva advanced classes. Mm -hmm. uh, the school teachers had something to do back then. They sure did. Didn't they? And got a dollar a day. Dollar a day. Dollar a day. My oldest brother taught school for tw uh, 35 years. And he said the highest money he ever got was a dollar a day. A dollar a day. That was uh, the least. Mm -hmm. He was next to the oldest brother. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. Uh, well, uh, you know, I, I don't know if we're, I, I wouldn't say we're having anyone coming out of school without being able to read and write in Ashe County, but even when you hear where people are being graduated from high school that can't read. What do you think about that? And, and uh, you say you had these, they had these people coming out reading. Reading and writing, and, and, and they knew that they could figure. Uh -huh. They could really figure, too. You couldn't cheat them. They know how to figure, count. Had they, they had to do it, they had to, the teacher, they, they had to give an account to me. They, they, Did they have a recitation bench that you had to go read your... Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Certainly did. You'd get, up, right. you'd get up off your bench and get up on the stage to read. Oh, oh. <laughs> so you better know it, huh? You better know it. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. That's right. That's the way we do. Well... And every morning, uh, the teacher would read the Bible. Indeed. Every morning. That's right. That prior, before he started being. Uh, well, I, that's, uh, can't, of course, you can't do that now. Not now, no. No. Well, no, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have it now. No, not a prayer either one. Mm -mm. Well, it, it must have been a pretty good life. It seems that all the people I talked to uh, wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't. Oh, uh, I, if I had to uh, uh, really to take a choice, I, I believe I'd just say, let's go back. If I, that is, if I was young, you know, mm -hmm. could, I had to live it over again. I mm -hmm. wouldn't want to the way I am. Because, mm -hmm. you see, I'm too old to go back to work like mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. I can do a little bit of work, but not like I could then. I, see, work didn't bother me then. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's uh, a good thing to be able to say, isn't it? That's right. I think it is. Well, I certainly thank you for, t for letting me talk with you. Well, you're welcome. And um, uh, I want to talk with your wife some more on her. Well, she, can, uh, she can tell you a lot. Can you think of it, any of the top preachers in those days that when you were a little boy then some of the big, as they, we call them the big preachers. Old preacher Monroe Willett was one of, the, one of the biggest, and he lived over here. He, he, he lived back in the 1800s. He was born back then. Mm -hmm. But he done his preaching back when I was a boy. In early 1900s. Early, early 1900s. He done his preaching. He was one of the best. Blankenship. And preacher Blankenship, he was a Methodist. Oh, and when he preached down here at Sabbath home, that was a Methodist church then. He said. I'm telling you the truth. I've seen the people lay, start at the door and go all the way to stand on each side. I'm saved people. 
Oh, he'd decide what he could do. I was one of the, I, I believe I'm one of the best men I ever met. <laughs>